Welcome to A Week in Science. This week, life at the bottom of the oceans, instant gold, and evolution in action. First up, the deepest place on the Earth has been found to house an unexpectedly large population of living creatures. Researchers measured oxygen consumption as an indicator of microbial life in the Mariana Trench at an astounding depth of 11,000 metres. They found a surprisingly active community and suggested that they're fed by relatively high levels of incoming sediment. In news for modern-day prospectors, earthquakes may be causing the deposit of gold. That's gold, I tells ya! It's long been thought that gold in quartz deposits form over long periods of time as the dissolved gold slowly solidifies out of mineral-rich solutions. But a new theory proposed this week suggests that earthquakes cracking rocks deep underground form spaces of lower pressure than the surrounding rock. This sudden change in pressure solidifies the dissolved gold and other minerals out of the surrounding solution almost instantaneously. Giant squid may in fact all be a single species and not multiple species as previously thought. Road kills of cliff swallows may be forcing evolution with fewer birds being hit and the birds having shorter wings. Further analysis by CERN has confirmed that the elementary particle discovered in July last year was indeed a Higgs boson. And Japanese researchers found that the timing of a rooster's crow each morning depends on their internal biological clock and not the presence of the sun. Finally this week, a new development in 3D displays. This new approach uses diffractive optics to produce three-dimensional images which can be viewed from multiple angles, even when the device is tilted. It consists of a set of LEDs and a thin filter that manipulates light to produce different views and colours. This is not an expensive holographic technique, but a faster and cheaper option. This glasses-free technology could revolutionise data visualisation, medical training and entertainment. Don't forget about Science Behind the Headlines, Drugs in Sport, this Tuesday, March 26th. Our expert panel will be examining this hot topic and you can be part of the audience at the Science Exchange or by following the live stream on our website. The show starts at 6.30pm Central Australian Time, 7pm in the East and 5 in the West. That's been another big week in science. For more on these and other science stories, go to the RIOS website, rios.org.au, where you can also sign up for notifications of future episodes. You can follow the conversation on Twitter using the hashtag WeekInSci. I'm Paul Willis, and on behalf of the RIOS team, I'll see you next week. Thank you.